Welcome to Plaza 618 and the Long Live Laporte mural, painted by Tom Torlemke and Bill Pozo. This mural depicts some of the many highlights of Laporte's history. We start along the left side with an image of the Potawatomi tribe, whose land is now occupied by residents of the city of Laporte. The image here is modeled off a reference photo available at the Laporte Historical Society, and the tapestry reaching across the top of the mural points to the tribe's continued role. Next, you see the first log cabin built by Don Bowman's father. Bowman was also a U.S. mail carrier, which is referenced later in the mural. Next is a splash of sunflowers, referencing one of our favorite annual events, the Sunflower Fair. A woman rides by on a locally made crown bicycle. Another important structure is the Round Barn, one of the last remaining in the state. It's a city landmark and its field is still plowed by draft horses. Next, you see three men, each representing one of the industrial families of the 19th and early 20th centuries. The first is Kessler, whose furniture store has been in operation for generations. Next is Rumley, founder of the Rumley Oil Pull. Rumley Oil Pull operated from 1853 to 1931 when it was purchased by the Alice Chalmers Company. Alice Chalmers made tractors here until 1983. The third man represents the Fox family, which ran a woolen mills that provided all of the pea coats in World War I. 19th century serial killer Belle Gunnis is the most infamous resident. There is a reference to her here. A young girl reads a spooky biography of Gunnis next to the wheelbarrow found on her farm. Lakes are a vital part of the Laporte landscape and culture. Here is a family building a sandcastle on Stone Lake. Nearby is a ski boat referencing the city hosting the 1956 National Water Skiing Championship. This is James Burden, the city band director for 45 years. His portrait is perfectly positioned behind a joyful noise musical instrument, which you're welcome to play when you visit the plaza. You see the Jiffy Pop popcorn? Jiffy Pop was invented by Frederick C. Menon in 1958. The twilight background is an aerial view of 1910 Laporte, back when Rumley was still active and the Laporte Theater was hopping. Laporte history has been researched by Fern Eddy Schultz, who has worked with the Historical Society for over 40 years. Here she is surrounded by photos. There's Ken Schreiber, the long-running baseball coach, Abram Piat Andrew Jr., an economist and congressman, whose family deeded the land for the courthouse. Dr. Abram T. Garden, one of the town's first resident physicians, Hazel Harrison, an internationally known African-American concert pianist, James Andrew, who built the first 15 miles of Michigan Road, and Kate Hosmer, one of our early school teachers. There are a few more photos. There is one referencing how home economics was started here, another of the Laporte Theater, one of Frederick A. Craven, local artisan, who built wooden ships for the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, and two of our local scientists, Dr. Collins, who created a painless cure for the opium habit, and more effectively, genius biochemist Carl Link, who discovered the anticoagulants Coumadin and Warfarin. Link was a character wearing large bow ties, flannel shirts and shorts, and sometimes a cape as he walked around town. You can see the work of famous framing company, Than Hart Berger, here. The frame reflects artist Tom Torlemke, former mayor Mark Krentz, and Don Bowman. Every 4th of July, Laporte is declared the state capital for the day, and the parade is especially notable for its exhibition of classic cars. Above the parade, you can see some of the cars from the Kessling Auto Collection, parked outside the deluxe drive-in as the 2014 film Unbroken plays. The film is based on the life of three POWs, including local son and later school teacher Russell Allen Phillips. You can also see Dr. Harold Kessling driving his yellow electric car, the Yar. The city of Laporte looks to the future in this part of the mural. You can see a mail carrier throwing a dart to anticipate that future. Love letters to the city and its residents in his back pocket. Residents surround the board and the bicentennial torch is being passed below. This part of the mural commemorates the rivalry game between New Prairie and Laporte High Schools, played in honor of local son and football player Jake West, who passed away in 2013. Slicer baseball is also popular, as you see in this section. For every new business that opens, the city hosts a ribbon cutting. 
Here, at the end of the mural, you see a pair of scissors, ready for the next celebration. Thank you for your interest in the Long Live Laporte mural, painted in Plaza 618 in 2019.